All right. Good afternoon once again, Minister. Thank you so much for joining me today. Of course, by election, it's been a talk uh, all week. Um, we would have spoken a little bit to it a few days ago. However, since that conversation, we would have seen a number of names being circulated in regards to candidacy for the West Grand Bahama and Bimini seat. What is your response to all that has been happening in the last few days in regards to the by-election talk? Well, I um, just want to re repeat what I said in the early interview. It is unseemly, just unseemly for people to be running on with this stuff. Um, the man has not been buried. His family is not announced officially, as I understand it, when the funeral is going to take place. And to me, all of this talk about by-election and when it's going to happen and who's going to run is simply premature and disrespectful. I indicated that the Americans had the same issue when Jack Kennedy was assassinated in 1963, where a football team insisted on going and playing a football game that night. And they were booed because people were saying this is simply disrespectful. And my view is, at this point, this is all premature talk. There is a process which uh, has to be followed in law. And there's a process which is followed by the party. And neither of those processes will take place until there is a funeral. And once the funeral is done, that's the appropriate time to be talking about this. I mean, the society has to just be careful how it respects and treat people who have been public figures or even non-public figures who have passed away. Death requires a certain respect, and that's our position. Now, like you said, there is a process, not only within um, the law, but within certain parties. Can you speak to the process within the Progressive Liberal Party for me? No, I don't want to speak about any process. All I know is that there is a funeral which has to take place. When that is done, then we can start talking about what transpires. And all, all this stuff that you see in the public domain about this name, the next name, and who is going to do what, all of that is simply disrespectful premature and not something which the party should be engaging in uh, in this uh, at, at this point in time. That's my feeling. And that's the general feeling of our party members. Now, you know, in this era of social media, as I said, you know, you have all sorts of things going on, but this is a society which should respect the family, respect the fact that the man has passed away and not act as if this is something that someone that you just discard because uh, we are anxious to have some political fever going on. It's disrespectful. Let's leave it until the funeral takes place, and then the party and the government will announce what the issues are concerning the rest of it. Okay. Now, Minister, I want to switch gears now. Of course, you know, um, Minister Wilshkam's passing was a blow on the Broadcasting Corporation of the Bahamas. But prior to that, we would have lost... Uh, our very own Natalie Martin Barrow. Uh, do you have any anything to say on her passing? Well, look, um, she's just a fine individual. Um, and I make a judgment about these things largely based on how people treat you when you're out of power. And I had the experience of dealing with her as a reporter. And as you know, I mean, even with the relationships with you at ZNS now, there's a symbiotic relationship which exists between reporters and uh, and public figures. Um, you are responsible in many ways for whether our careers are successful or not, how we appear in public, how we are portrayed. We help you with your job by feeding you the news and providing you with information. That's how it works. And there's a certain code of conduct which um, transpires and exists between reporters and public figures. You can say things to reporters uh, that can't be repeated. You can say things on background. You can say things on the record. Um, and so trust has to build up between reporters and, uh, and public figures. And I always found on all of those scores, uh, she was trustworthy, uh, never betrayed confidences. Um, certainly when I was in the activist period before I became uh, a public figure, elected or appointed, uh, there was a lot of uh, activist work being done in Grand Bahama. And you could always rely on calling uh, her and she would show up and report faithfully what was said. Um, and I always appreciated that. And uh, I was really struck. I mean, she's a young woman. Um, I'm really struck by her passing. And 
I issued a statement to all colleagues saying that this is a really sad occasion. And I to extend condolences to the ZNS family and to her own family. Okay, any final words, Minister? Uh, once again, I just want to extend uh, condolences to the Wilshire family, uh, to Natalie's family, and to people at Grand Bahama again for the support which they give the Progressive Liberal Party. And in due course, a uh, person who is fit and proper, I promise you, will be provided as a nominee for the Progressive Liberal Party whenever the by-election is called. Thank you so much, sir. You have a good afternoon. Welcome.